so thank you, David, for for the announcement. Um, it's it's very hard. I, I think it's a, a hugely important topic, but at the same time, it's quite hard to push in ten minutes uh, to present actually three very different contexts that we share that uh, the speakers share. So I will try in these like ten to fifteen minutes first. Uh, to firstly to just present some kind of context and hopefully this will inspire some questions and um, comments to then further uh, go into discussion about some some of the details. Um, I have to say and uh, uh, the, the right to housing in municipal is uh, is actually for us for the local context. I come from the Ministry of Space from Belgrade, Serbia. Uh, it's a very important topic, <clears throat> but at the same time, uh, I have to say that this part, success stories, that is in the title, doesn't really apply to us yet, I would say, because of both the, the municipalist movement and I would say also, also the housing movement is still too young or uh, recently established uh, to, to talk about it, to uh, to reclaim some kind of success. Uh, although I, I mean, I'm still very optimistic about it, but let me try to somehow illustrate what context uh, we are coming from. So uh, our, uh, um, our, what, what, uh, our, where our struggle and what I wanted to, to start the presentation is actually in 2014, which is not so far away. Uh, when we actually, as a Ministry of Space, initiated um, a very <clears throat> massive public uh, resistance uh, against the uh, against the invasion, I would say, um, against, uh, against the inv invasion of this uh, Belgrade waterfront project, which is a development project that actually occupied the, the large part of the Belgrade of the Belgrade city in order to create uh, uh, ground for some exclusive housing, uh, largely housing, but also office buildings. Um, uh, and I mean, it, it's a trend that, that was already happening in other European cities, but it was the first one of such kind in Belgrade, Serbia. So in 2014, it was introduced as a huge nas of national importance, you know, the project. and. Um, and we actually initiated the, the resistance against it because we really uh, understood or recognized that it was uh, illegal uh, how it was done, the process, it was really illegal, you know, uh, the, I don't want to go into details because of the time, but it was both illegal and, and illegitimate because it was against the public interest. And it was also completely non-transparent process of how the whole project was, the, the, the contract was signed and how the whole construction was happening. So um, what we started is something that later became really a municipalist movement, uh, which was called Don't Let Belgrade Drown. And it's something that uh, that we as a Ministry of Space were really proud of because it was the first time that uh, we actually managed to mobilize a huge public uh, support. Uh, I'm sorry that I, I can't show you the, the photos and the, the illustration of it, but uh, from the period of 2014 to the period of 2017, there was a series of huge massive protests, which was for Serbia a very uh, a very like a not usual you know thing since 2000 since the, the the overthrow of 2000 and it was something that we really understood as um as a as a massive um as, as a massive resistance to the neoliberal uh, logic of the growth of the city uh, and uh, actually, the the what what was what was initiated as a municipalist movement or as a social movement that really addressed this particular project grew into like a political uh, movement um, that that actually answered or, or tried to answer and tried to propose the policies that were really. Um, 
in touch with the with the local uh, context and with the and, and that were uh, that, that were articulated through a deliberation process through a wide publicly deliberation process um, of course housing was one of the subjects that the movement has presented as important one and it was addressing the the the, the current situation in housing in Serb of housing in Serbia um, and uh, it was, as, as I said, for the, uh, the I didn't mention the, the, there was the election in uh, the local election in 2018. And uh, the initiative Donland Belgrade Drown has uh, uh, entered the local election with the strong program um, uh, within which the housing was uh, really one of the crucial topics. Uh, now I, I would like to uh, to say something about the context just for you to understand because it's I think it's quite different from Barcelona and Berlin one. Um, it's uh, uh, so I, I'm I'm making this um, the premise that I, uh, uh, and I want to just uh, go back a little bit to a history of housing in in Serbia and Yugoslavia. Uh, because I, I think it's important to just understand where we are now at the moment. Um, so, uh, as probably most of you know, uh, there was a period of socialist Yugoslavia uh, uh, after the Second World War. And what was actually uh, uh, the situation with housing at, the moment, th at that moment was that it was really um, uh, a policy that uh, promoted housing as a right and also as a collective social responsibility. So he, uh, massive uh, amount of uh, uh, housing units were built at the time. So with, for, from, let's say, the um, beginning of the 50s um, until 80s. So uh, almost like a third of the existing housing uh, fund was actually built at that time through uh, collective funds, solidarity funds, and uh, as a as like a so, um, as a social uh, um, um, uh, social property, okay, not not like a private property, but a social property where all the workers uh, were given a, a house or a housing unit um, as as something that is like their right, okay, to have a, a adequate and, and decent housing. So uh, from that period, so, so I mean, it, it's it's quite a recent history that we had the experience with a collective uh, approach to housing. In the 90s, there was a, a really radical change, a radical transformation of the housing uh, situation where uh, most of the social housing uh, or uh, it, it was social property housing was actually privatized. So we are now, after the 90s, we are now actually considered like a super home ownership state where we have today like over 98%, believe it or not, 98% of the housing units are privately owned and only around 1% of units are publicly owned. So what we have now actually is uh, today is something that is um, like a a structural uh, housing crisis caused by this uh, huge amount of privately owned houses and the and the um, uh, the actually the market acts as like a comp uh, utterly dominant regulator of the housing situation. Then we have a very you know non diversified housing models. As I said, we have like private ownership and only a very small uh, amount of public ownership and nothing in between. So co-housing is at the moment non-existing in Serbia. And then we have absolutely insufficient institutional infrastructure for, uh, uh, for articulation and uh, implementation of any housing policy because the, it's a dominant narrative that housing is actually an economic uh, field uh, and the market is the dominant regulator, as I said. And there is, there is absolutely, it, it, it has, uh, the state has, uh, has uh, depoliticized the housing question uh, in a way that it's, 
it's not even you know deliberated upon uh, uh, anymore so what we are actually uh, facing now is that the housing is just under widely understood and widely perceived as something that is a uh, uh, just a pure economic logic, you know, if you are, you know, if you have money, then you uh, deserve or you will be, you know, you will have the access to uh, affordable or, or to, I'm sorry, uh, adequate housing. Otherwise, uh, you are facing a huge problem, either homelessness or, um, or access, uh, which is a limited access to a very insufficient amount of public housing. That is the situation in, in, in Serbia at the moment. Um, what, what I think now to, to optimistic, more optimistic side is two, two, uh, twofold. At one, uh, uh, on, on one side, uh, we have a, a recently established movement that is like, for the first time, it's a housing movement that we are looking at. Um, the initiators were five organizations. Ministry of Space was one of them. Uh, all five coming from a really activist background, trying to um, um, to fight for different aspects. So roof overhead, for example, one of the uh, initiators is uh, is an anti eviction movement. Ministry of Space is um, a, a movement that is working local initiatives, local city initi initiatives, fighting for uh, democratization of urban planning and urban development. Then we have um, uh, Who Builds the City, which is an initiative that is actually trying to uh, establish the first cooperative housing, the contemporary cooperative housing in Serbia, and so on. So, so we have few organiza uh, five organizations to be exact that are actually trying to establish uh, what is we hope is going to be some somewhat of a, of a housing movement also also always uh, looking um, towards the experience of uh, Spain or experience of Berlin where the movement really had a great impact on the uh, on the housing policies and what we are trying to do with the housing movement uh, is actually to uh, first uh, make some kind of radical change in the perception of housing. So to repoliticize the housing again in Serbia and then to really propose uh, particular um, policies and particular mechanisms in the housing that will uh, go towards the, um, uh, affordable and adequate housing. Uh, and I'm, I'm I'm near the end. Um, so um, what we are actually uh, working, what we are working with, who we are working with is the the initiative and the, the municipalist movement that I talked about in the very beginning, which is Don't Let Belgrade Drown, uh, which is actually looking to go again to the elections in the next year. And um, encouraged by the Croatian situation. I hope you all heard that uh, uh, just a few days ago, uh, Croatian municipalist movement won the elections, uh, and it's a it's really a very uh, hopeful uh, event uh, in the region. So we are really optimistic also uh, about Serbia as well and the next coming uh, elections. But what we are, as a movement, trying to do is actually work with the municipalist movement of Don't Let Belgrade Drown and actually introduce, introduce the, the policies uh, that, that we uh, fight for and the struggles that, 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 uh, from the terrain and to actually translate it in a way into new uh, policies of housing that would, that would radically change the, the existing uh, housing crisis. <laughs>